Live from the Cactus Creek at Ibri, he is the king of prime time, Ghana's undisputed entertainment laureate, and still the youngest old man in Ghana. Put your hands together, show some love for the indefatigable KSM. The KSM Show. Folks, and then I'm back again, and it's always a pleasure to come to your houses Friday evenings with this hot show. Today, though, today I have a very, very, very exciting guest. This man has been trending on everywhere you go on social media. It's about this man, and I and I'm so glad he's in the studio, not in the studio. Well, he has linked up with us today, and we're going to have a lovely chat, man. So let me introduce him. And then we'll take a commercial break. And after the commercial break, it will be fireworks, pure fireworks. In the meantime, I have the pleasure to have in the house today, my dear Kweku Anan. Show him some love, man. <laughs> hey. Hey. What are going to say? How's everything? I am Kweku Anan. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. OK. So Kweku, I'm glad you're here. And I'm sure yeah. most people know why you're here. Let me take a exactly. short commercial break. When we come back, we shall start. So stick around, we'll be right back. The KSM Show. Okay, folks, we've been talking about me buying ball, which is a life insurance policy offered by Holland Life Assurance. And basically, all you need to have is a SIM card for Vodafone, and you dial star, 269 hash and follow all the voice prompts and you can get registered for life insurance for as low as any amount you can afford. Yes, life insurance has been made affordable. We buy more from Holland Life Insurance. And if you have any questions, you can call their hotline and talk directly to a representative by dialing 0302 799 Seven eight eight, and you can reach a representative and talk to them live. Ah, it's what he did. A bush a piece of beer, a thousand Ghana city near Francis or Penny could be a year. Ayaka, mommy, have two boys in my home. See, my leg is broken. The house for the bill, they are finished. My house money, all they are disconnected. So, what for your money? You come and say it down, mommy. And your family, the bumble life insurance and tea and was so many. A player to me, I did a year, I did a chance for my body. Uko first cow him. We catch the book come back with little money like one city. So, when you are from here or catch him say insurance, dear. In your big man top. You just die. Start to say snack. No about hash. Where we are. Oh, where's he chicken? He's a chicken. With one Ghana CD, five Ghana CDs, 15 Ghana CDs, or 30 Ghana CDs per month, you can get up to 30,000 Ghana CDs for funeral and disability cost. Dial star 269 hash. Just sign up via Vodafone Cash today. Wait, wait, I'm not like this. <laughs> Mid Bumbo, insurance made for you. Located in the calm green hills of Ibri is Ghana's best. To make a reservation, we have some new numbers. And the new numbers are 0302-955-432 or 0302-965-460. The best decision you'll ever make. Welcome home. Also a cactus. Wednesdays are called this pizza special. Charlie, we need, we need a brie pizza on Wednesday at Katusa. Then you haven't had the best pizza. And there's a special run. And if you buy one large pizza, you can get a second one at 50% discount. So let me see you there on Wednesday. Let's get some a brie pizza, amazing Cactus Creek pizza. Most of you are loving my jacket. Mr. Sao, hey, me feel rough. The jacket is provided by Asipa Essentials. So if you want some, this is the number to call. 
215. So call as a pa and get yourself a pretty decent jacket. The KSM Show. Okay, folks, um, if you have not heard of Kukwana by now, then I don't know where you live. Definitely not in Ghana, but I'm sure you all live here. And uh, Kukwanan had a program on Net2 TV, and it was called The Seat. And if I may dare say, it was that program that became the anchor show for the Net2 TV, and it attracted so many people because of the sometimes controversial issues he dealt with. And more importantly, not just controversial issues, he, he, he had, as a co-host or a guest, uh, the man... Kennedy in Japan himself, and you know Kennedy in Japan, Akwanakasa, an ordin. And so when he hey, went doing the, the tag team with Kwekwanan, name was she. That's right. So, what did the yeah. show that? Let's the seat. Yeah. And it was going very well. You started with some series. Yeah. You, you was, it was doing extremely well. People, you yeah. had a huge following. Gugu, uh, good evening to you, the viewers here and around the world. Uh, like you said, this is quick one and here. Sometimes it sounds quite controversial. Sometimes do people disagree. People agree to you, depend on which political philosophy, economic philosophy, or social philosophy on which you are trending. I designed a show this way, that this is a show primarily was going to focus on social current affairs issues, political issues, mm. Mm. economic issues, uh, investigations, because then my background must also be feed into the program, mm. contextualizing it from investigative journalism. That was the base. Mm. And then also what I call, I think the fourth one was Crossfire. Let's stick with the seat for now, because okay. th that's what we, you became known for, the seat, sure. okay? And, and, and especially, uh, even, he was, even if he was appearing even five minutes each time, he became quite tight to you. It was like a tag team. I'm yeah. saying to suggest that when the, the announcement came that he's taking the show off air and yeah. then you, you, are, you have been more or less fired, it was a shock. When did you receive that news? Did, did you see it coming? Well, Kweku, I no, I would say no. And, and the reason is also because this is a show all the time. Everything about the show is on my lap. I, I, the content, the programming, and the takeoff, everything is on, is on my lap. You know, because I was given that task to push the show to whichever level. One, to mm -hmm. ensure that we have the listenership, the viewership, and the markets, as far as the, the business aspect is concerned. And we quite succeeded in all the three you know, above things. I think uh, sometime in July, it was on Wednesday preparing to go to the studio. I was in my bedroom. Then I have showered about to take off. Then I had a call from my CEO, who apparently is the wife of Kennedy Japan, Stella. And she called and said, we have to have a meeting about the program. And apparently she want the program to go on a season break. So I said, what is it about this season break? And then she said, yes, we need to go for a season break. And that's in broadcasting. This is, I mean, it's something that yeah. Yeah. we have to uh, exercise. Yeah. And I said, oh, madam, gauging the circumstances of the situation, we are left with about four to five months to go for Christmas. So why don't we wait for this period? She said, no, we have to. So I asked her, then what time, which day you want the program to push for this season break? Then she said, Anytime you are free and you can come to the office, then we discuss this. Kweku, this was on Wednesday underlined. So about preparing to take off, then one of the producers called and said, Kweku, we are not having a show today. And that madam has asked us that we slot in a movie. And I said, a movie for what? And I said, ah, but I just spoke to her. And then she said, okay, then call madam again. Okay. So indeed, I called right. She had discussed with you that she wants the program to go on a break, take a season. Exactly. But exactly. you knew that you'd be continuing with the program. Sure, so sure. The program when the producer called her and said, we are exactly. not doing it today. Exactly. So mm -hmm. I called her back 
And I, then she said, I'm in a meeting, I'll call you back. And that ended the call. So I realized that then the calls were coming from other guys, technical guys, those in MTR, MCR and all of that, that Kweku, something is happening, we don't understand, blah, blah, blah. And I said, okay, well, let's wait for. So I called my director of TV, who is, uh, that's uh, Ken San uh, Nanatichi. And I said, Kenneth, what is going on? Then he said, me, I don't know instructions coming from above. So discuss with, with her. I've opened the studio. If you want to have a program or the show will go on, everything depends on Madame. And I said, oh, really? So on that Wednesday, KSM, we canceled the show. Then the next day, I went to the office. So when I went to the office, then she said, I should say that myself, uh, CEO, and then director of TV, we had this meeting. In the meeting, she said, look, one, we have to pull this program down and do some realignments and rearrangements and all of that. And I said, okay, well, I don't know what would feed into all, all of the above that she said, but then I have to listen to it. Then second, she said, you can't fight the government. You can't, Three, you can't fight, fight the government. government. I can't fight the government. Then again, she went on to say that um, I've insulted the vice president and that there's a YouTube video recording shows that I've gone to do a program on my okay. private uh, YouTube channel. And do I've insulted the vice, the vice president? president. Yes. And I said, no, madam, I haven't done that. Well, saying this, I thought then in a minute she was going to show me the video as evidence based. I did not see the video. She, she did not also say anything except to you know, telling me stories about the video, blah, blah. And I said, no, I haven't gone on YouTube to do anything. Well, she was so fixated on the basis of the fact that, yes, the program should be pulled down. So I accepted that challenge. In all of this, I was studying what is more to loom that will make more understanding than just to say but, the program has gone. Yeah, let, let me ask you this very quickly. Did yeah. you do a program on YouTube about the vice president? Absolutely not. So what are you referring to? Great. Now, you know what? Which I know by this time, uh, KSM, you might have heard of all of the sizes to the, to the coin. It's about the fact that that purported video upon which I stand accused to have insulted a vice president. Apparently, I did that show on that same network, unknown to them or on the ignorant side of them all, including even my director of TV, who is supposed to have monitored all my programs and could see that this is a program that Kweku did. And apparently it's talking about the vice president in the negative terms or some sort. No, it was almost, it caught all of them at the blind side until I have to come and give my response that, hey, the video on which I stand accused and Kennedy Japan is also out there telling the world that I did it on YouTube was actually on his own network. And again- Kweku, That program was on net 2 TV. Exactly. Because in my response to what Kennedy Japan has said out there, if you watch my response on my, uh, my TV station, Kweku, Kweku Anans TV, you will see I fixed, in fact, I showed the video, the real video, because mm -hmm. nobody apparently either have access to the video or something, because all the information going around on the superhighway, nobody could show the video, including the two officials. So I have to show, demonstrate that video to the world that this is the video we are talking about. Mm. And Kweku, quickly, now go into the content of that video, which is purported to have been described as an insult to Valmia. It's not. It's a program. My program, The Seeds, I also designed a segment on the program called Ghana Speaks. And Ghana Speaks is the hottest. This is a segment where I do to invite the viewers more, prepare them, for the main program is of takeoff. So on Ghana Speaks, now to give you the content of that show, which Mr. Kennedy Japan could not listen well and understand what that content was all about. It's about what you and I know, that the MPP has gone for IMF. Now, my reference was about the fact that yes, the ex uh, the NDC administration, John Mahama, former president, his excellency, took us to IMF. Now. At the time the NDC you know, went for the IMF program, the current vice president was in opposition. Then mm -hmm. I remember he said something to John Mahama, three, four, five bullet points, telling the world how Mahama has failed. 
So quickly, you know, the superhighway is a storage of information. Yeah. So I went for that video. Video. Then I played that video. Of then I also played okay. a video of the current finance minister, who also then had said about a month or two to us that Ghana, we are not going on IMF and, the, and all the doom mongers and blah, blah, blah. So I took these two videos and I played both respectively. Then I questioned the current vice president, Mr. Vice President, can you explain to us the these two, things that you yes. said to former President Mahama? Two, would these things that you said to former President Mahama be applicable to you today? Mm -hmm. When I made this comment, then my viewers on YouTube got alarmed. And I can pres presumably, may I say, these are fans of the vice president, started attacking me on YouTube. That why am I taking on the vice president, blah, 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 blah. So there, whatever response I gave in that video was not actually for the vice president, for my viewers on YouTube. So it was there I said, quote, when I was attacking Mahama about his, his economic, economic mess and all of that, you people didn't hear, you didn't see, what kind of rubbish is that? We have to tell the truth to Ghanaians and defend everything that we have said in the past and present. And I left it there. Mm. So whether I use the word rubbish or whatever it is, Kweku, the truth of the matter and anybody who has watched that video or viewed the video, no clear primarily was not in reference to the vice president. And it can never be an insult to the vice president. It was those at the YouTube that so I was talking to. Okay. What you're saying yeah. is that you just, you just played back what he has said. Exactly. And played back what uh, uh, the finance minister has said. And we're questioning exactly. them why there was okay. that traffic change. was okay. Precisely. That's so, it. But this was done on Net2. It was done on Net2, not on YouTube. It was on Net2 TV. In so, July. Okay. What's this whole issue about you went to YouTube to do it? Was it because you played it back on YouTube? What happened? No. No. You know what happened? Anytime I do my program, some of these bloggers mm. sometimes will pick the show. Then they put it in their own you know, content and then they shoot it. A lot of bloggers pick my program where many times the officials of the two have written to the YouTube officials and then they strike them off. But mm. this one, I don't know what happened. Okay. It was still, you know, okay. on the super highway. Okay. And then somehow the circumstances under which it went to Canada, Japan is a story that maybe we'll get into it. Okay, okay. Let, yeah. me, let, me, let me ask you this quickly. Um, your CEO said that uh, you can't fight government based on the, on the YouTube thing and everything. And yeah. If I may add, I think it's, yeah. it's, 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 an, it's, it's no secret that um, Netu is a friend of the government. Netu is seen as a platform where the government is very comfortable, you know, propagating government, whatever it is, right? <laughs> so when she told you, you can't fight government, being Netu, knowing the philosophy of Netu and you coming as a host on a program from Netu, how did you feel? Did you feel... You, are, you have now turned against government? Well, Kweku, this is the, this is the crossroad in the sense that when, when she said this, then it was for me to digest then again to interrogate mm -hmm. myself that mm -hmm. what, it, what it is about, you can't fight a government or some sort, I don't know, because I didn't, she could not reveal much more that I, on the basis of it, I can say, oh, this, my direction, is not about fighting government, but it was about later on, some other intelligence. I picked prior to that meeting that mm. she didn't know that I have picked some very reliable intelligence. And so based on that, then I knew where she was going. But then she was also not ready to reveal, open up, but I knew where she was going. That There is much more than what she was telling me, why she was saying I can't fight government. And I could presume that it was not on the basis of whether I've insulted vice president or not. There were more to it. Yes, like you said, the Net2 TV, the seat, flavors government policies, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And quickly, as you know, the media cannot, will not, and may not be ignored as a significant political actors 
we have a certain sense of responsibility to deliver. Mm. My responsibility as a journalist sitting there, one, I don't have any political party tag. Uh, what do you call it? What was the uh, word? Um, party card. Party card, no. But sometimes the viewer or say those in the extreme NPP kind of would feel that no, so long as Kweku is sitting on this network, mm. it's expected of him mm. that he push that agenda. Fair, fair deal. But then wouldn't also be more reasonable professionally as a journalist coming from that conduit that I need to also execute my job on a professional standpoint with or without looking at it from both sides. And that if the party does something that is also not politically incorrect, Kweku should be able to question. I should be able to interrogate it. I should be able to talk about it. Oh. Because one, if you pushed, if John Mahama, former President Mahama, pushed us to IMF for how many years down the line? We've been going to IMF, IMF. When are we going to have that break? And then you come on the basis of me to question even the, uh, the current vice president. We're on three bases. One, the vice president eh, Kweku, is the chairman of the economic management team of this government, the governing party. Two, he's an economist too. <laughs> three, he's the vice president. And see, I can even say, say Charlie, Mahama Krano, and Yana Fenunu. Mahama is a political technocrat. This is our vice president. He's, he's a you know, groomed economist. So if you are the chairman of the economic management team, mm. you know the in and out, the endocrine, the leaps and bounds of everything as far as the economy is concerned. You, you, you know how to play the game. Now, if you sit there and they do all the things that they've done up to the very moment, including that of the current finance minister, in that white calico with the Bible and giving scriptures back in that God is with us and we aren't going to IMF. And then by the close of his speech, we are at the doorstep of the IMF. Now we seem ourselves sitting, eating a giant humble pie. No, I cannot use any other adjective except to say they have failed. And that's for me, was a crystal clear that any Ghanaian, be that a journalist or otherwise, you would have to tell them, guys, you have failed. Either you walk out of the door peacefully, give okay, a okay. chance for somebody to, you know, great, uh, great, great. exercise great. Yeah. Like prudent economic measures. Great. We, we, we have to take a commercial break here. But when we come back, you've hit on a very interesting angle that I want to take off from, you know. And so let's take this quick commercial break. When we come back, it's going to be more of Kweku Anan in the house. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back. KSM show. Okay, folks, we've been talking about me buying Bo, which is a life insurance policy offered by Holland Life Assurance. And basically, all you need to have is a SIM card for Vodafone and you dial star 269 hash and follow all the voice prompts. And you can get registered for life insurance for as low as any amount you can afford. Yes. Life insurance has been made affordable. We buy more from Holland Life Insurance. And if you have any questions, you can call their hotline and talk directly to a representative by dialing 0302-799-788. And you can reach a representative and talk to them live. Ah! Mommy, I have two boys in my home. See, my leg is broken. The house for the bill, they are finished. My house money, all they are disconnected. So, what for your money? You come and say it now, mommy. And tell me, I'm going to life insurance and tip. I'm going to say it. 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 I'm going
Always is a chicken. It's a chicken. With one Ghana CD, five Ghana CDs, 15 Ghana CDs, or 30 Ghana CDs per month, you can get up to 30,000 Ghana CDs for funeral and disability cost. Dial star 269 hash. Just sign up via Vodafone Cash today. Wait, wait, I'm not like <laughs> Made Bumbo. Insurance made for you. Located in the calm green hills of Ibri is Ghana's best. Ah, zero three zero two nine five five four three two, or zero three zero two nine six five four six zero. The best decision you'll ever make. Welcome home. Also, a cactus. Wednesdays are called this pizza special. Chale, uni uni a brie pizza on Wednesday at Katusa, then you haven't had the best pizza. And there's a special run, and if you buy one large pizza, you can get a second one at 50% discount. So let me see you there on Wednesday. Let's get some a brie pizza, amazing Cactus Creek pizza. Most of you are loving my jacket. Mr. Sao, hey, me feel rough. The jacket is provided by Asipa Essentials. So if you want some, this is the number to call. 0209-059-215. So call Asipa and get yourself a pretty decent jacket. The KSM Show. All right, folks, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. And in the house today is uh, Mr. Kwanan, who you know has been an integral part of Netu TV, if you will. And if you remember in my conversation, I made it clear that, well, Netu TV has an affiliation. Some TV stations have political affiliations. And it's no secret that Netu TV has the affiliation, is almost like a platform for the MPP. So, Kweku, considering that, would you now understand why maybe your CEO said um, you are now taking on the government? Because this is uh, 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 this this was a, this was taking on the vice president and the finance minister. And I understand that you're talking about a journalist should be objective. Did you think that the station that you were at allowed that objectivity and that you could stay there and get away with it? Yes, um, the word objectivity underlying, but the question still remains that what will be the understanding about objectivity or they will simply just allow anything to be done on that channel or still would say, no, we want to be objective, but we have to also criticize by also criticizing the establishment for them to do things right. Because in our certain, in our political certain, if you don't criticize the African politician, and for that matter, the Ghanaian politician, here they go, hey, hey, why? And do all sorts of things as if they don't know their left from their right. So for me, objectivity was what they should have our spouse for. But then they felt that, hey, it must go on the MPP, NDC extremism, which I think I've tested myself so well. And I cannot go too much into whether it is about MPP and I'll go in that extremism or NDC, no. Okay. okay. I, to balance I the understand. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me ask you this right now. Um, yeah. Some of the criticisms that have come since this decision has come about, I know, uh, how would I call it, maybe very, very, very pro NDC people who are now saying, and I want you to react to this statement, uh, I feel one. It's like you knew all along that the direction wasn't right, but they said then uh, Kennedy must have been paying you so much money that you didn't care, you know. So it's only after you 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 left that people are now talking about. Oh, he said he wasn't even being paid or paid that well or all of that. My question is this: 
and I want you to react to what the criticism is said. So did you know all that, that things are not as well as the party had promised, but you just decided to toe the line because Kennedy was insisting that you toe the line or you as an individual, you were not very comfortable with the direction? Kwegu, the answer for this is the last, is the bottom, is the bottom of your, your, your statement or the question. Yes, I felt that I was, I'm not comfortable with the direction. So if I was comfortable, then Kweku still or wouldn't even question the vice president. Because mind you, there are radio stations and television stations in Ghana. That's all they tell towards the NPP. Knew of what Kweku Annan was questioning and could also go in the same direction. But yeah. failed to do so and said, oh, Charlie, let's close our eyes, allow things to go the way it has to go. So if Kweku was in the house of, in the political household of NPP affiliated television station and was questioning it, then fundamentally it must be known that I wasn't comfortable about something. And my, my inability to also not to have questioned would have also be a question on my head which of course my consciousness wouldn't have set me free. That quick, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? And even the outside will question you. So by me questioning, I think somebody should give us a bit of credit that we still want to question the establishment to do what is right. Now, Kweku, quickly on what's you, the question you asked. It's not because I know of all of this and still I was glossing my eyes over anything and it's like, I'm talking about, Kweku, you know what? I've come under avalanche of attacks, mm -hmm. criticisms. Mm -hmm. Somebody will not understand this direction, why I'm giving some responses out there. I have been accused ostensibly to have been one person who came to Netu TV or television and has milked the, what do you call it, the finances of Kennedy Japan. Mm -hmm. I'm being paid so huge. I chop his money in you. And look, there's one prominent lawyer in this country who called me personally and attacked me for this. And I think I have, if you give me permission, I can mention his name. Who attacked me that why am I doing what I'm doing? And that all about Canada, Japan, insulting people in this country, blah, blah, blah. I am the brain behind all of that. Do you know why when he said this, it was when Canada, Japan had come on my show and apparently there, there was this judge who gave a ruling and the ruling was not in his favor about his parcel of land. Mm -hmm. And Ken was on my show mm -hmm. and gave it so, I mean, there was a huge attack on the, on the personality of this judge. Even at the very time when he was, you know, unleash, you know, unleashing the dragon on this judge, I tried to tame him and I had my share on that program. The yeah. evidence is there. Even that I did professionally from that standpoint, I was accused to have, you know, instigated that drive by Kennedy Japan. This lawyer, Kwame Jan, who is well known, Kwame Jan, and I know he's going to watch this program. Kwame called me two occasions, said all abusive words. And then he told me that Kwegu is all over at the workplace. We dream more. Yes, we now did Kennedy Japan, Sika, we now say, and so many things. And it's not only the lawyer, Kwame Jan. Quite. This rumor was ongoing. Well, that, that was the prevailing belief, though. You know exactly. Yeah, but that then exactly. But then, uh -huh. so I'm an American. So I, I thought it wise. Said no. Now that I'm no more there, and all this rumor is hanging on my neck, I need to demystify this call sign. So I have to tell the world they should go and ask him how much was I being paid my services to Netu TV. They should they should be able to disclose it. Two, the clothes that I wore for every show, two to three years was coming from my own pocket. I didn't have a wardrobe. No, I didn't have a wardrobe. I'm sorry, it sounds quite embarrassing though, but the, the way people see Canada Japan would always want to tell the truth. I'm sure maybe I have that more spirited, much more than maybe he has. So then I have to demonstrate to the world that I said to him in, in, in truth and integrity, and so this is not a time I, I deserve this thankless moment. No, 
because you are in the production, you are in, in, in the industry. We are we know how we serve our presenters when they have to appear on the screens more desirable and appear in a very, you know, for the viewer to, as it were, appreciate this. But in my case, I was taking care of everything. So I want to tell them that this rumors that you build against me, this is the day I have to tell you the truth, that they are all lies. The rumor out there that mm -hmm. Kwikwanan is the one chopping Kennedy Japan's money and all of that, I think that then I've had it too much and to my neck. And I need to explain that to listeners and the viewers and the Ghanaian to understand that, hey, apart from my salary at the end of the month, I take home. I didn't have any extra money from anywhere, even to the extent that adverts, advertisement that I brought on my show that I need to take my commission. My commissions were never given to me. Mm. No, everything was, was being taken care of. And Kweku, the program, the seed show, did not also have any extra money. I say extra money, did not have any money that was put into the show. No, the show from where two, three years was financed by myself and a nephew of Kennedy Japan. We financed it from our own pocket. That's the truth. So mm -hmm. sometimes you are forced to say all these things for people to know that, Masa, we went through a bit of hustle, but the fact that we were not talking or some sort, you well, know, shows that everything was there, Rosie. Well, no. Yeah. People just assume, yeah. assume yeah. that, you know, for you to take such an entrenched position, you know, yeah. I mean, you were so close to the extent that I think you were the one that broke the news that he was going to be running for president. So you know that you can, you can, right. you can understand why people will assume that there's a special yeah. relationship that even when yeah. he used to run for president, you broke the yeah. story. That's correct. So, so do you understand where people are coming from when they think that? Exactly. And, you know, um, I once fault Kennedy Japan that he wants to contest for presidency. No. Why? It is like constitutional legitimate right. Now, yes. he told you that he wants you to break the news? Yes, yes, yes. He told me he was about to visit the U.S. for some checkup. So he oh. called me and said, uh, I should, you know, uh, break the news. Okay. I think it was it was a couple of days, then the next two days will be Monday. So I went on my program on Ghana Speaks. I broke the news that, hey, folks, Kennedy Kwame Akumpre in Japan is going to contest if the nominations are open on the NPP ticket. He is going to pick his nomination forms and he'll proceed to contest the 2024 presidential race. And I broke this news. When I broke that news, I had my share of some attacks, even from the, within the same Ken City, because some people in Ken City were not you know, too comfortable with that news because, well, it looks as though, as though they had also patched their camp in certain political corridors. Mm -hmm. And so they didn't want their own chairman to contest or some sort. He heard of this and he was upset. He took, took it upon them, did blah, blah, blah. And further asked me to come and reinforce the message, which we did. Subsequently, he came on one of the programs, even though he was in the US, he came on the show and then affirmed that message. Now, I cannot be faulted. I cannot be faulted for breaking the news that he will, he will contest the elections or otherwise. Now, why? Everybody has that constitutional, right. you know, so long as the person fulfills the mandate, mm. the person fulfills the requirement, what not? Why not? So there can never be anything wrong with Kennedy Japan if he wants to jump in the political, you know, fray and then contest for elections. The choice of he winning or not winning is between he and the electorate out there. Kweku right. Annan cannot and be faulted yes. for breaking that news. I did my job as a journalist, assuming that I wasn't even on the two TV and elsewhere in another media house, I still would have done it the same as, as if he brought it to that media house for me to break the news. And that's what I did. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what people would sometimes want to blame me for some things that uh, you should be held responsible for this or why not? We, we can at this time share some of the responsibility, but not for the you know, bad reasons of it. In all, it was for a good reason and a good cause for this country. Mm. Yeah. For the sake of time, let me, let me pick your brain on this. Um, now you're out of net two. Um, yes. Have you had any recent conversations with uh, Kennedy? 
regarding his announcement no. date with all the shows that you have done since? No, no. You know, no. no conversation has taken place? No, no. Yeah. Is it something that you want to reach out to him to straighten out a few things or you're okay with the, with the, because I, 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 I saw your promos and you were talking about, you're going to give us your side of the story. And you said, it's a Magadon or a Magadon. What do you, how did you describe it? You <laughs> say a Magadon or something. So <laughs> are you like on the war path with him or you want the task? Still, God, this is a very good question and I need to give clarity. One, Whatever that I'm out there doing, it's not a tug of war with Canada Japan. And I need to demystify this much clearer. Quick, you know, you know me. I cannot do this and I cannot fight Canada Japan. And so the, the Ghanaian out there who I may say does not understand my path is beginning reading the path that, hey, Quick is on a war path with Kennedy. No. You know, Whatever that I, I'm doing out there on my TV station, it's for me to bring listeners, viewers to the station, period. Again, it is also for me to tell a very good story about myself. It takes years to build what in, the, in our local language, Rebecca say, Edimpa, Ene Abrabopa, which goes in synonymous with integrity and credibility. Now, it's so easy to take just a second to drop down somebody's integrity, mm. but it takes much longer period to build integrity. I'm a young man, though. I'm trying to build future. Now, for what Kennedy did by way of going to break the news on the superhighway, when in actual sense, her wife was taking me through the process, assuming without admitting that even the process in which the wife was taking me through would eventually have ended in we passing our way or bid a farewell, then I felt that would have been the best way to go. So why Kennedy would not allow that process to have go to its fullest, but decided that he'll go on the superhighway to break the news there. It's a question he would have to answer one day of him. But having heard of what he had gone out there to do, I felt that, hey, I owe it to myself. The name out there is no Kojo, it's no Kwame, it's no Kwesi. It's about Kweku Anna. Now, Kweku, as we sit here today, if say CNN, Fox, ABC, BBC, all this year, so Kweku, you know what? We need your service in Africa to do X, Y, Z for us. Kweku, they won't come to Ghana to come and assess me and my CV and all of that. No, they will sit there, punch even the superhighway, zero down, assess me, who is this guy? And Kweku, they will go there all to see, say, oh, this guy, however good he was yet, he was on a, one particular television station called the, the Netu TV, and he was fired. One, I wasn't given a dismissal letter. The firing of me or at me was announced on social media. Hey, so mm. what more, what else more is a test to his dismissal? The man just said that he has gone to his office on vice president. What is, what is all, about, all about that? He could not provide or could not put further and better particulars to accept that claim. However, this international wire would then find out what is it that Kweku Anand also put in his, dis in, in his defense. No. Mm. All that they heard was that the Ghanaian was telling Kweku Anand, Feme Nyame, Nyame Woho, Nyame Beye, Nkasa, Kawanutum, Nyame Beye, and all of those things. And I'm saying to Ghanaians, hey, no, I'm going to keep quiet. Gonna I will it. tell the story and yeah. defend my credibility and Kweku. Whilst on radio and even I came on TV, I have said to the politicians in this country that I am one last journalist, that a politician will try to, you know, take a nose dive with my integrity and my credibility. It's a no go era. It doesn't matter whether you are the president, you are whatever, I'll go down with you. And we are on that path. So nobody gets it twisted that I am fighting Kennedy Japan. And I'm saying, hey, whilst you are telling me this, why don't you go and ask Kennedy Japan why he wants to destroy my credibility? Why he wants to destroy my integrity? Mm. By the way, could he have wait, waited for the wife to break the news so that we all part company or parts where go our way yeah. rather than he chose that part? What is it? What is in that part? What is there? Was he just going to do that 
for what you call political profiteering, some interest or some favor or for what? What, what is it about? So, I mean, why, this is a campaign platform. What is Kwekwanan's name doing on that platform? Was that the appropriate forum to break that news? The answer is no. And mm. people must watch Kennedy Japan right on his face and tell him, Mr. Japan, you Did got it wrong this time. Yeah. Do you feel like you were pushed under the bus? No. Like you were sort of betrayed? No. You know? No. Yeah, betrayal, that's a crystal clear. This is a clear betrayal. You see, and Kweku, as a student of intelligence, I will not say a politician is using me for anything. Other, other than that, then these responses coming wouldn't even materialize in the context we are speaking. Because a politician cannot use me for anything. I will come after you. You see, and I have also said in my response that Mr. Kennedy Japan, given the circumstances, what is more synonymous with him, whenever he's talking, is zeroed down on a certain trepidation, all right? That manasingly of him to bring in a boisterous storm waiting on his own political household and they need to tow a line. It's on the basis I say, he should come and tell some real truth because I've asked some two, three, four questions. That one, the action that he took, I'm asking, is the president of the Republic, His Excellency Adudan Kwakufode, aware of this? Is he, does he know something? So I table my question. Would he confirm or deny? Is he aware, that the of, tape record, aware of what is going on? All hmm. this is Ruhaha. Two, I am also asking, the video recording upon which I stand accused, as he said, was given to him by the president when he was in the United States. Would he also confirm that whilst in the US, he received a call from the president and the president asked him, what is it that these your guys are there to do it to the government? And then a question, did he respond to the president that no, I have not viewed the show for some time, so I don't know what is going on. And then the president also said to him, no, we have a video here. And this video, this uh, Kweku has been attacking government including mentioning some names, the vice president, the secretary to the cabinet, Nana Santi Bedi too, and all of that. And he said, no, he's not aware of that. And then they have to send him the video. And the video, apparently, my question is, did the video come to his phone or the video actually went to his wife's phone? Because at that time, his WhatsApp probably may not be working. And so when he received that video, what did he do about it? Did he, as it were, try to, confer with me and question me about all of this. He did not. Right the very day he landed in Ghana at the airport, then the decision was taken. And subsequently, a week thereafter, he went on the campaign platform and then he released this uh, missile. Mm. There are a lot, a lot of undercurrent that for me, we've also laid hands on all this intelligence. So I have to say that I cannot fight the MPP and I'm not fighting them, except that I be, I'm now feeling that the MPP would not want journalists to question them much or criticize them much, which of course is quite synonymous with the political establishments in this country. But in all of this, Kweku, here's him, it's 30, 30 years, 30 years into our democratization. The leadership under the Fourth Republic have all woefully failed and failed this country traditional leaders, institutions, religious organizations, who sometimes I say, they are the last line of defense, Omega, have failed this country woefully. And journalists must tell the political establishment right on their face that you have failed. All of them, okay. they have failed. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. And so sorry that our time is catching up with us, but uh, this is what some of your critics say that, the person who says it's not easy, as it were, to criticize the establishment and, and go on. Did you always know, but Kennedy was paying you so much that you ignored it? Or is something that you are now beginning to understand? That would be your final question that we can wrap this up. Okay. Anybody or people, because you see, KSM, you were my senior and you are still my senior in the days at Vibe FM when you were doing and and all of that. You know, I should tell this story today that I am not the first journalist to have taken on the Christian church or the, you know, the body of Christ in Ghana. No. KSM, you started this. True or false? True. 
in this country. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And today, we, some of us have become disciples of it. We, we, we've done a lot. It's not because now I'm at Netu TV and Netu TV is revealing Kwekuana. We've done this over and over and we have been crit critics of government. The NPP, NDC ostensibly taking this country back and forth. So somebody should not get it twisted that, oh, this is the time now Kweku has realized that, hey, the establishment aren't doing things right. We've been talking over and over. And I tell you what, the politician today is pretty fascinated in the priorities of what? Buying heavy duty engine cars, of course, buying houses, wiring huge sums of money into foreign banks and whatnot. That's their priority. And the moment you nail on this, hey, we blew a mukro. They don't want to hear that. You see, and it's all about exploiting the human capacity. Go across the street, go to all across the principal street here in Accra, Ashanti region, Western region, what you see avalanche of human capacity. They are on our street, 30 solid years. These politicians have exploited them. Every four years, come and vote for us. We would give you jobs. We will give you this. And they have failed them. And throw and I'm sorry. This is what we see. And they are saying we should allow them to go free. It yeah. will not be. Kweku, I, I think it's I have to arrange a part two to continue this. Because, you, yeah, you, you seem to be firing on all cylinders. To yes, quote. My time is short. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, come has caught up with us. So, um, 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 um I will arrange to get you back, man. Some other time, yeah. I think I will. Because there are yeah. so many aspects and angles to yeah. this that we have even... Because then we should have also touched the, the what brought about the exposition of the yeah. religious, the, the fake pastors, prophets, and bishops in this country. You know, oh. because people thought that, oh, it was all of an attempt to go after them and crush them. And so some of us were labeled as antichrist, as you were labeled, yeah. but we are not. No, it's not. <laughs> so in the name of trying to let them behave Christ-like. I hear you, man. I hear you. Kweku, thank you very yeah. much for the conversation. I mean, I mean definitely we'll, we'll continue this, this discussion. Thank you, know, you very much. We, there are so many angles of this that I want us to get yeah. into, you know, yeah. that I couldn't get into now because time couldn't permit, but we'll yeah. do it soon, sooner than you think. Okay. But thank you Great so one. much for joining me today. Welcome. And um, Asia. Wonderful. Okay, folks, that was Kweku Anan. <laughs> That's Kweku Anan, who was with Netu TV. And you, he's he's trending now, so I don't have to tell you any story. I just wanted to get a few points clarified, which he has. Some of you may understand. Some of you may still have questions, understandably. I don't know. But um, we have done what we had to do, and he has answered the questions that we had for this segment of the of the discussion but we'll be back again on this issue so we're going to ask so to all yes, of you yeah, out there until we come back next week ksm signing off from his very coded location saying as he always does i am out of let the whole world say yeah. <laughs> okay folks catch you next week